Okay, well now I'm gonna burnish edges. Now that I got that stitched together and everything's held together the way I want it to be, I'm gonna go ahead and get to burnishing that edge. First thing I'm gonna do is the same thing I did before and just wet it with water. Take my burnishing tool. Let's see how it fits. Yeah, it looks like that might work. And just go ahead and burnish that on down. It's just a matter of rubbing it with the tool until I get a nice shiny burnish on it. And a burnish edge is quite important. Because I've seen some really nice holsters. Really beautiful tooling. But the edges were ugly. And that just kind of ruined the whole thing. You know if it's got an ugly edge or an ugly stitch line? On a pretty on an otherwise pretty holster, that, that just kind of ruins the whole thing. Okay, looks like I'm going to have to use this side a little bit. Yeah, I do have to mash it in a little bit, but you can see I'm starting to get a shine on it already. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and water burnish that a little bit more, and then it'll be time for the gum drag. Okay, I'm set up with the gum drag. That's the water burnish done now. And with the gum drag like before, you just put a little bit on the dauber and wipe it on. And that'll help to uh, keep those fibers in place. Uh, yeah, by the time I'm done and before the top coat, and even after the top coat, I'm going to be reburnishing these edges and really got to make this edge the prettiest because that's the showy edge. That's like the main edge that, that you're going to be seeing. Like, like on this one, it's got that big wide edge here and that's got to be the pretty showy edge on that. Where's my brush? Yeah, it's right here somewhere. But we put the gum tag on, let it sit for just a little bit, give it time to soak you in and dry a little bit, and then come back and do some more burnishing. I'll use this end now. I guess with the water you can basically say that I form the edge with it. And then the rest is just making it look pretty. And you just keep working it until it gets shiny. Hello, Lisa. Green. You gonna do the cat's ears? Yeah. Aww. And you can see that's starting to get shiny again. Now the next step is one of the steps that I like because it finally begins to look like a proper holster. Next, I'm going to wet mold this thing. Yay! But this time I'm going to use um, hot tap water and that'll help to soften the collagen. 
which means um, it will uh, form easier and it will keep its shape. It'll also harden the leather a little bit, which is what I want. And there you go. There's our burnished edge. Now, actually, I'm going to let that dry before I wet it again. So, <laughs> we'll be back to wet mold this thing. See you then.